open up the control panel folder. In there, click on View Network Statuses and Tasks, and then Change Adapter Settings. We will now determine which network adapter your ESS is connected to, so please make sure that the ESS is powered up and plugged in. When I power it up and plug it in, you can see that my local area connection switched from on connected network to identifying. If I power it off again, network cable unplugged, now it's back to enabled identifying. That part doesn't matter. This is the one we want to work with. So right click, properties, go down to internet protocol version 4, properties, and we will manually set the IP address to 10.9.9.2. This is for the network adapter on your PC. Your ESS will have 10.9.9.9 for its IP address. The subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0 and the default gateway we want to set to your ESS's IP address. We can now go to advanced Gateway is set to automatic, and we can edit that. And we'll put it to 9000. Down here, we'll uncheck automatic metrics and change that to 9000 as well. Hit OK, and we can hit close. It now identified as Network 4. Rename. And give it Smooth Stepper Network or a similar name. Pressing Windows R, I get this window and it has CMD in it already, or you can type it in. Up will pop this window right here. It's very important that you type everything exactly right. And we can see that the ESS is responding with times of less than one millisecond. That doesn't really matter as long as you get a reply from the ESS address. If you need to make it go for a much longer time, you can put a dash T on, and that will make it go forever until you hit the X up here, or you press the Control and C keys. If I turn the ESS off, where it doesn't have power, or I disconnect the cable, you see that it slows down, and about once every one to two seconds, you'll get a request timeout. If I turn the power back on, within about two seconds, you'll see it starting to respond with pings again. If you have this, the ESS is communicating with your PC correctly. In Control Panel, click on View Network Status and Tasks. Down here, click on Windows Firewall. Click on Advanced Settings. Go to Inbound Rules. And you will have to look through here to find anything that says Mach 3 or Mach 4. It may not look exactly like this, but if you find anything there, especially the ones that would have red slashes through them. Delete them, and then go through the rest of the list, scroll down, and see if there's any other ones. Go into Outbound Rules and do the same thing, although you shouldn't see any in Outbound Rules. Go ahead and close. Another option is if you're still having problems or you want to do it quickly, click on Restore Defaults and that will set your Windows Firewall back to the default state it came with your PC. After you've done that, click and open Mach 3 or Mach 4, whichever one you're using, or both. And when you first try to connect to it, you can ignore that one that came up, you'll have a Windows security alert. If you hit the red X, 
it's going to deny Mach 3 or Mach 4 access through the firewall, so you'll have to repeat the first step we just did for deleting old rules. Make sure you check both private and public so that you won't have any issues with that, and click Allow Access. Windows Firewall will now let it through. You may have to reopen Mach 3, but you can probably just hit Retry, and it will connect if you have the settings set up correctly. If not, you may have to enter the ASS IP address of 10.9.9, .9, but that's covered in our other tutorial videos.